Hey, what's happening guys? This is your Good Friday video. And uh, just want to let you know there will not be a video on Easter Sunday. But every other day of the year, except maybe Christmas. Maybe Christmas. And if the Steelers go to the Super Bowl, there'll be a video. So today, we're going to talk a little bit about circuit protection. And in particular, this IC right here, which is an optocoupler. This is the 4N35 from Vichy. And this is a six pin chip. Okay. So we have pin one is your voltage in. This is your input side. Uh, pin two is your ground on the input side and pin three is not connected. Pin four is the ground on the output side and pin five is the voltage out on the output side. And the way the optocoupler works is if we take a look here and imagine the chip this is our in input side. This is our output side. And on the input side is an infrared emitter. On the output side is an infrared receiver. And in between, there is nothing. Now you've noticed that in all of our earlier videos, we always talk about connecting the grounds. Well, this is one case where you don't connect the grounds. When you put this chip in between your input side and your output side, you are completely isolating them. And that's another name for this is an opto isolator. This is a great way to protect your circuits from reverse uh, biasing them or shorts or anything like that. If you've got something on the output side that's worth some money and you want to protect it, the opto isolator is the way to go. All right, so that being said, let us uh, zoom out here. That's in. And we'll bring in a circuit that I've mock mocked up here. Mocked, not mopped. So, Let's take a look at our circuit. Here we have five volts coming in through this power supply and it is connected over here to this rail. And I'm gonna make sure this rail is turned off by putting that jumper in the center. Now over here on the input side, we just have a double A battery. Now our ground input is connected to pin two our VCC input is connected to pin one through this 470 ohm resistor. And I don't know if you can see that it might be a little dark here. We'll skip the resistor. We light the LED. There is absolutely no connection between the two sides of these circuits, except for that little LED emitter in there and the IR receiver there. It's pretty simple to hook up and it's easy and cheap protection for your circuit. Now, I'm gonna show you, it's not just good as a switch, as an on off, but it is also excellent for PWM. So let's pull this circuit out of here. and bring in this one. So on our output side, stay, we have another LED and it's being powered by an, uh, an 18650. So if we connect up our 
opto isolator in the circuit. We have our input coming in from the Arduino off of pin 9, which is a PWM pin. Our ground coming in to pin 2. Over here, pin 4 is our output ground. And pin 5 is our output VCC. So we'll plug this bad boy in. And there we go. We've got a nice fading LED. So that's our little introduction to opto isolators, opto couplers. A cheap and easy way to protect your circuits. If you guys like this power supply, we're giving one away on Memorial Day. Check out the video I linked below to find out how, if you're not already entered. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give me the big thumbs up, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.